Hey guys, welcome to my review of the SH Figure Arts Ultimate Gohan from Dragon Ball Super Superhero the movie. So yes, we got Gohan here looking great. Gotta say, I'm digging the colors, I'm digging the detailing. The only thing that I don't dig about this figure are the freaking boots, but there's quite a lot of hair separation. Face scope looks great. And man, this is pretty darn awesome. Finally getting a Gohan that looks this darn good. By the way, he's using the new articulation as well. So, let's go and check out the articulation. Okay, so let's start off with the head. He can go right this much. And left that much. There's nothing really hindering it. Now down a lot, which is great. I love that. And now up. Quite good, you know. Not the best, but still good. Now the arm can go up this much, but sadly, as you can see, um, the shoulder is getting in the way, sadly. Uh, it does have butterfly joints, by the way, so yeah, you can see how I'm having trouble there. It did loosen up a little bit. Um, here you can see the swivel there for the arm, which is great. I love that swivel. Should be including all the figures, of course. And of course the elbow bent which is a little bit stiff but still over 90 oh yeah that is pretty good of course the hands do have the articulation and here is the butterfly joint so you can see they're working really darn well you're gonna be able to do this much ab crunch and the leg goes up this much and the knee bent is a little bit and solid but you can see that it's pretty good and of course ball joint on the ankles up and down for feet the toes go up and that's pretty much for the articulation so Gohan comes with his standard expression as you can see there pretty darn good he looks very well done honestly the face looks pretty nice the greening one looks good as well well, you can see the green thief and man, I love this new light. It just makes everything pop. And the screaming one, which is pretty cool. It, you can see how expressive it is. This is so awesome. So, let's check out some poses. Okay guys, let's get to some final thoughts here. This Gohan is pretty awesome. And uh, you guys saw the articulation, I love the articulation, it's pretty darn good. The only thing is the shoulder, I wish they would have fixed that, but hey, um, the other poses that you can do is pretty awesome. Of course, this Gohan is based off the Super Superhero movie now. The detail on it is perfect, it matches that one perfectly, but do remember this, that this Gohan is ultimately based off what Team Gohan in Dragon Ball Z look like. And here you can see a side by side image. And you can see how they still they took inspiration from it and they also took inspiration from what he looked like in the Majin Buu saga as well if you remember he actually wears on uh, this outfit also now this Gohan 
I'm 100% sure the Monaco Fit or some other third comp party company or some of you might be working on new feed. I think if you're able um, to get new feed for him that match the original one, that is gonna be so darn cool because Gohan is gonna look so darn great. Now, do remember um, that in the movie they do a bunch of pullbacks, and the thing is that if you buy Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, remember that they're premium Bandai exclusives, so you're gonna get. Uh, I think Gamma 1 comes with the nerdy head with the glasses and it has the Piccolo cape, which is pretty awesome. And uh, Gamma 2 comes with the Super Saiyan head, which is pretty cool as well. Now, I know what you're thinking, Zero, what about, um, you know, that final form of him, That's, that transformation that he does with the white hair. Now, there's two scenarios here. Number one, which is probably gonna be one that is almost, I, I give it 50% of both of them happening. Um, is that they're gonna come out with a new Gohan and he's gonna have the transformation. You know, he's gonna be already transformed. Um, but, but, they might do this. They might just package the new head with Maxell. With the effect part um, for the special being canon or Masakan Sampo. I don't know, sometimes the, in Spanish, in Spanish it's like um, vaca con sabor, it's a, it, a cow with flavor, basically is how they say it. Um, but if they do that, I think that effect part will come with Piccolo, the juice stuff Piccolo, of course. Um, but I think that's how probably they're gonna do it. They're probably gonna come out with Maxell, he's gonna have um, the head with maybe one or two faces obviously one face but um, extra I mean and then have Piccolo come with the hand and the special pink canning effect part for it that will probably be the way that they would do it but we'll have to wait and see you know it's just everything just has to you know it has to take its time but yeah guys I have really no complaints with this figure except for the shoulder not being able to go all the way up and that's really it the rest is pretty awesome of course effect parts would have been awesome if it came with the masenko and maybe uh kamehameha for him but eh, i'm pretty happy with it so yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time